Good oh yeah, good morning everybody. I am, I'm Jennifer, this is A Country Life, and we are on, well, day two, but it's like our second week. Anyway, we are in Cranberry Harvest right now, and I have some people coming today, actually two different people coming today to pick up cranberries, and so this morning Warren actually hand raked these because we were kind of in the in-between two beds and for the time that they were getting picked up, it just was gonna work better to get them hand raked. I was just gonna come through and just kind of run my hands through them, kind of dry them just a little bit here before they get here to pick them up. I have to put them in big mesh bags and weigh them out. Uh-oh, Colt. Colt. Uh-oh, no, 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 we can't throw them out, okay? We're gonna have to go pick those up. If there happens to be like a large stick or twig or something, I'll toss that out as well. So we have that going on. Maria wrote a letter to a friend, so we're gonna get that down to the mailbox. Uh-oh, where did Joe go? So this is interesting, maybe. I did a video years ago on hand raking, and I will link that in the description box below. It was actually the kids hand raking. It's just so cute because Peter was such a little boy at that time. But anyway, this is an old time. I mean, these are so old. I don't even know how old these are. 75 years old, probably. And these are like the original cranberry rakes. You want to show the motion, Maria, of what yeah, they would do? You would swipe them through the water and they would pull the cranberries off the vine and then you dump them in a bucket or crate and then you do it again. Mm hmm It's a lot pretty of hard heavy. work. It's pretty heavy, isn't it? And then yeah. you get that filled up with cranberries and it gets pretty heavy. And then these also are very old. These are drying racks and, or no, not drying racks. They're drying crates. And so this is just kind of, each one is 50 pounds. And so we just fill them up and then, and then these are new. Have... Warren built these for me a number of years ago. They're just and some they just wood have like a with like yeah, hardware screen, I think that's called. Yeah, and then we just put them in and they the water just drips out and cranberry leaves might fall out through. Mm -hmm. But they're the holes are too small for cranberries unless you get a very miniature one. Then how much does the other person want? Okay. How much does the other person want? The other person wants 30. Okay, so that one bag is exactly 30. Now we need 70 pounds. 70 pounds. Good job, Colt. Okay, now scoop some more. Scoop some. Colt, scoop some out with your scooper. It's a whole lot later in the day here, and um, I just want to give a little shout out to, let me see if I can get all the names right, Maxwell, Trenton, Sully, and William. Did I get those names right, Maria? Yes, and to Angela. It was so nice to have you guys here today and just show you around our farm, and, and I hope that you enjoy your cranberries. All right, so... I have some things that I have to get done in the background. It looks like we have dishes to put away, dishes to wash. Of course, it's just never ending. But I need to get some things going here for supper tonight. And I thought I would just start it now since both um, of my grandchildren are kind of napping, easily sort of napping. So we'll see if we can get this done. Tonight, what I'm gonna do, this is out of my second cookbook. This is the second cookbook in case, um, in case anybody's missed it. Um, but it's baked sliced potatoes. It is on page 11, and what I'm going to do here is add some ham to this. I've never done that, but originally I had two plans for today. One, I have a venison roast thawed that I was going to slice, and then I was going to like pound it out to make Swiss steak or like a steak and gravy type of a meal with mashed potatoes. So that was what I wanted to do. But it's already 2 o'clock, and there's no way that that is going to have enough time to cook in the crock pot before, like, 6 o'clock for supper tonight. And my other thought was, what if I were to do crock pot, scallop, potatoes, and ham, which I believe I'd have to peek in here, but I'm pretty sure that's in cookbook 2. Yes, right there it is. Crock pot, scallop, potatoes, page 34. That's what I was thinking of doing, but again, 
<clears throat> it's already two o'clock, so I don't have enough time to do that either. <laughs> so I'm just going to sort of makeshift this and I'm going to do the baked sliced potatoes. Mom. I'm just going to add ham. Mom. Yes, Joe. I'm also using more than four to five yeah, large baking potatoes. No. So I have, I would say, one, Ten two, minutes. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight small to medium, I would call this, russet potatoes. And I'm going to add in two gold golden potatoes. I might add some more. Just kind of depends okay. on how this looks. I'm going to be feeding... Let's see, tonight for supper, we'll have seven home for supper tonight. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of keep filling this up until it looks like enough. Also, I wanted to give Rada Cutlery a shout out. Uh, they actually just sent me three knives. <laughs> One day I got a message saying, hey, we love your videos. We'd like to send you some knives. So anyway, Rada Cutlery, this is like my new favorite because this is one that I don't have. Um, and this is called, I think this is called the Super Pairing Knife. Absolutely love it. And boy, is it nice to have just brand new sharp knives. Even though I sharpen my knives, uh, regularly it still is nice to have one that's just like factory sharpened All right, I'm really, really altering this recipe, so <laughs> it's really not a whole lot like this. But what I did is I just put one layer of potatoes on the bottom, and then I dumped in the whole pack of ham, and now I just have potatoes on top. I melted up some butter, I added some oil, basically like the uh, recipe says, and then garlic salt, and I had to use Italian seasoning because I was out of dried thyme leaves, and then I used a good helping of pepper, and now what I'm going to do is just kind of pour this over, and I want to make sure that it gets evenly over, especially the top potatoes, so they do, so they are able to kind of brown up. And if I were just doing potatoes in a thinner layer, what I would do, I, I would not cover it, but since I have a lot more potatoes, and I have the ham in here. I am going to cover this in foil. I'm going to have to get all that goodness out right there. <laughs> but I'm going to cover this in foil for um, a half an hour. And then I will take the foil off and let it bake as long as it needs to. I'm thinking it's going to have to go another half an hour just because it is so thick and everything needs to get hot and the potatoes need to get soft. And I think that's gonna take some time. Well, we are in such a hurry to get to the post office right now before they close, but I just had to stop here and show you guys the leaves. You know, you Mom. just have to do that sometimes. Mom, just take a minute. What can you do? About this. Oh, about this? Yeah. I know, but we have to just take a minute and look at those gorgeous, Very gorgeous sick. fall leaves. Aren't they pretty, Joel? Serious, Wherever you are. folks, when I walk up back on your own days long, and I have a channel, I no folks, I don't any problem, and it's so on. All 
right, guess what? <laughs> I completely forgot to film when I took the foil off of this. So, gosh, I'm just kicking myself for this right now. There wasn't very much left of this, so seven of us really, really um, gobbled this right up. Yeah, so I had this in the oven for two hours. A long, long time. I had it at 350. If I, you know, would have been following the directions, I think I normally put this in at around 400 or something. I'd have to pull out my cookbook. But anyway, it was it was very tasty. Don't be shy. Season it up. I didn't have in enough seasoning for this amount of potatoes. Oh, you have on Sam's hat? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't put enough seasoning in, I don't think, so we all salt and peppered ours even more. But this was very tasty. I think it would be really good with onions, too. I didn't even think to put in a few onions. So Anyway, we are going to get working on dishes. Also for supper, I had just a bag of these, I think it was called Mediterranean vegetables, I had picked up at Aldi, and I really like them. Actually, I was surprised. We ate all of them up, and... We, we thought they were pretty good. Uh, I would definitely, definitely uh, buy more of those. And now we're just going to work on dishes because, yeah, that's the day. <laughs> that's what it's looking like in here. I have some plans tomorrow for lunch. We're just going to have vegetable beef soup. I think I have four or six cans of this, so I think what I'll do, this is just one thing that I will do, is sometimes the night before, I will pull out the canned goods that I'm going to use the next day. It just helps me to kind of uh, remember that that's what I was going to make, and it just kind of helps me to remember to uh, just kind of make it happen <laughs> the next day, when all of a sudden you're like, oh, I need to make something, and then you see that you have the vegetable beef soup or you see that you have two cans of carrots sitting out and you go oh yeah I was gonna do carrots and whatever or something just kind of helps to trigger trigger my mind when we got home from the uh, post office I was going to go down and get some video but then they had just finished with the cranberry harvest and then I thought that I would go down and get some well not totally with not with the harvest, but for the day they finished. And then I thought, well, maybe when it's just kind of getting dusky, I'll go down and get some video. And then it was like, oh my gosh, everybody is hungry. We need to eat. So I feel like this wasn't that exciting of a day um, for all of you. It was very exciting for us. We had a lot going on today, but uh, I'm going to end it right there. Thank you guys so much for always tuning into my videos and just all of the super, super sweet comments that you leave. I just cannot tell you enough. Hmm, I wish my kids would be sweet to each other right now. Uh-oh. Uh, but anyway, I just appreciate all of your sweet comments, and uh, I read so many of the comments to Warren, and I read comments to the kids when you guys, um, like, say hi to them or happy birthday or things like that. So thanks. You guys have a fabulous day. Bye.